Here is a quick Zombunity Mud tutorial on daemon filtering. Daemons will filter out messages that they would like to respond to. Messages have a type. For instance, this message would have a type of north, say for uh, or n for north. This one have a nil type. So let's say we had a couple daemons that respond to the nil type. That message comes into the server. The server asks each daemon if it would like to respond to this message by calling its filter function. Now, in this case, we would have daemon1 has a filter function that checks to see if a is true. And in our database, we see that a is true. So it will have its process function called. Daemon2 checks to see if it would like to run by seeing if in the state of the world that b is true. If we check daemon1's filter and then run its process, it will reset b to true. If we subsequently call the filter function on daemon2, it will return true that it would like to handle this message because the world has changed. We don't want that. We want both filter functions to be called before the world has a chance to change. So I have a test for that. And in my test, I use two different daemons that are exactly the same, uh, but they, will, uh, they won't be the same object. So they'll both reside nicely in the set of daemons that handle the nil message type. I also have dispatch test, and I have a, a, a namespace to handle the data. This var is for uh, updating within the filter function and this var is for updating within the process function of those namespaces. So dispatch test will dispatch a message with type nil and it's expecting one daemon to respond with a resultant message. I've registered them in the order 2-1. I do not want to have to maintain any guarantees of daemons uh, responding in a specific order. So either one of them can run. That's why they're both exactly the same. So whichever one runs, we'll stick with one because it's uh, in order, it will it registers itself with type nil and a filter function called should run. So should run will be called. The state of the world to start with is that first run is true, and has run is false. So whichever daemon gets called first, first run will be true. So should run checks to see if first run is true, and for the first daemon that will be true. And if so, it resets first run to false. So the subsequent daemons that get called they will say that no this is not I am not the first daemon to run and so the first daemon will have succeeded and returned true that yes it would like to run now if that daemon is subsequently run before other filters are checked it will reset the has run var to be or Adam to be true now we'll see what the effect of that would have in the second daemon this daemon's the second daemon's filter function should run is called and data first run is now false. So it doesn't do this block of code, it does this one. If the previous daemon has been, its process function has been run, then has run will return true. And then this namespace will be saying, or this daemon will be saying, yes, I would like to run because the world has changed. If the first namespace's process function has not run, then daemon uh, and data has run, which defaults to false, will still be false. And this daemon will say, no, I don't want to run. First of all, I'm not the first daemon to run. And the world is such that um, this, uh, this value is false, so I don't want to run. So this is just checking to see if before all the filter functions are run for all the daemons that are registered against that type, that their process message functions have not been called. All the filters are called first. And that's it.